Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda, and of course, I am your host, and today is Father's Day. Before I get started, let me give a shout out to all of the fathers out there. I hope that your day is amazing and that your family shows up and love upon you and lets you know just how appreciated that you are. So, of course, um, before I get off into this topic, let me give this disclaimer. This video is all my opinion. Well, I'm going to say 80% of it, no, 90% of it is going to be my opinion uh, because I will give you some facts at the beginning of the video. So those things are factual. But 90% of this video is my opinion um, as a woman who has been married. Um, the first time I got married, I was uh, very, very young. I was still in high school. I was a wife before I was a high school graduate. Um, so I started my family very young. But this time, this video is from the, um, from the position of me being 43 years old, okay? Um, from the position of me having life experience um, and just from the position of me knowing what it is that I know, right? Um, and I stress that I have been married before because I think that kind of changes the dynamics for some women because some women have never been married before and they desire that, right? So... Uh, again, this video is 90% of my opinion. All right. All right. So today's question that came to me that has been trending all over social media and my ladies wanted to know how I felt about it and they wanted to get my opinion on it. And let me turn this down because of course I have music on everything. So the question is, ladies, if your man proposed to you with a ring from Walmart, would you accept it? All right. So let me give a little history lesson, okay? Because when I come up with my thought process, a lot of times there's so many factors that come into the thought process, right? So in 1947, there was a company called uh, De Beers, and they were a diamond, a diamond company, and they launched the campaign Diamonds Are Forever. I know a lot of people have heard of it. Um, uh, I, I don't even remember when I heard it for the first time, but I've heard it several times, at least all my life growing up, that, you know, Diamonds Are Forever, every woman wants a diamond, so on and so forth, when it comes down to an engagement ring, right? And De Beers also came up with the theory that the cost of the ring should be 20% of your income or at least three months salary, right? So still, that's kind of the same thing, right? So there was a standard that was set when it came down to you purchasing an engagement ring, right? There was a standard or a wedding ring because some people engagement ring pairs with their wedding ring or whatever. There was a standard that was set. Today, I'm going to be honest. I'm not one that is big on that standard. I don't feel like it has to be a three-month salary, right? And I don't feel like it has to be 20%. But I do feel like you have to take into consideration the person that you are shopping for. And, and I want to feel like you put some thought into your purchase when you made it. So the original topic was, would I accept a ring from Walmart? And my response was, let's talk about the man that's giving me the ring, right? Is he a Walmart type of man? Like, his lifestyle, the way he lives his life, is he a Walmart type of man? Meaning, when he goes and buys his shoes, does he go and buy his shoes from Walmart? When he goes to buy his cologne, do he go and buy his cologne from Walmart? Meaning, the things that he enjoys for his leisure, his pleasure... You know, are he, is he going to Walmart to purchase those things? Because that's important to me. Because, see, I can see myself accepting something if you're a Walmart type of man for yourself. Meaning, if you're a Walmart type of man and you go buy your tennis shoes from Walmart, and you, you over there with the um, Old Spice cologne from Walmart, then it would not surprise me that you decided to go to Walmart to get me a, a wedding ring, Right? But if you ain't doing Walmart for yourself when it comes down to your shoes and your cologne and some of the things that you enjoy, then I'm going to have a problem with accepting a ring from you from Walmart. 
And I'm going to tell you why. Because see, a lot of women on my page, they're saying it's the thought that counts. He can give me an onion ring and I'll be okay with it. He can give me a ring pop and I'll be okay with it. Because all that matters to me is if the love is real. I get it. I get it. And what I know at 43 years old, that the love can be real. Right? But I also understand that there are certain things that are so much more important to me at this old, big old age in my life than love. And I'm not a materialistic person at all. But acceptance is important to me. You being my peace is important to me. All of those things to me are way higher on the list than love for me. I'm just being honest and I'm speaking for myself, right? So I, I don't have no doubt in my mind that you love me, but I also feel like if you love me, then you want what's best for me. You, you want to give me your best. That means that when you're doing things for me, you're doing things with the spirit of excellence. Also, if you are ring shopping for a woman like me, right? That means that we didn't spend some time together and you didn't dated me. And you didn't exp you you know what holidays look like for me. You know what gift giving looks like for me. It's certain things that you know that when it comes down to this particular woman, you know how she is, how she moves, and you know what it is that she do, right? And you know that when it comes down to me giving you a gift, everything that I give you, it's going to have you in mind. It's going to be done with the spirit of excellence. And I'm going to give you the best that I could possibly give you in that moment, right? And most times, my best ain't coming from Walmart. And I'm just being honest. And I, it's nothing wrong with people that that is their lifestyle. But I just think that when you're dealing with certain women and a certain caliber of woman, because just like you got alcohol on the shelf, all alcohol ain't created equal. You got your taco vodka, and then you got your kettle one. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you, you got different is levels to it. You, you got your your bottom of the barrel alcohol, and then you got your premiums, right? So you know if you over here, you dealing with a, a premium type of woman, right? And when you met her, she was moving in a certain way. She had her shit together. Um, when you saw her, she looked nice. You saw she drove nice. You done been to her house. You see she lived nice. You see that she liked nice things. When it comes down to her, why wouldn't you want to give her your best? And that's, that's my whole point that I'm making with this whole accepting a ring from Walmart. Because it's not about the ring from Walmart for me. It's more about the thought that's coming behind the ring from Walmart. And why out of all of the places that you could have went to go look for a wedding ring for me, why did you choose Walmart? Why? And I would just like to know. Why was Walmart on the radar when we got Jared's, we got Zell's, we got K's, we got all types of mom and pop jury places. And all of these places run great sales. All of these places have different caliber rings. If you're going to go get me a lab ring from Walmart, you could go easily get me a lab ring from somewhere else. Why, why would Walmart be on the radar for you concerning me would be my question. That like It's, it's, it's so much bigger than... Oh, well, I'll just take any type of ring. See, I'm not the type of person. You can't just bring me no anything. You can't. And when a man meets me, one of the things that I let him know about me from the very beginning, because sometimes people don't necessarily know what your flaws are, right? And when I meet a man, I let him know I have a flaw. Even though because I'm treating you so good and because I'm loving up on you so well, and a lot of times it don't look like nothing that you've ever experienced before, I can tell you what my flaw is. My flaw is I'm extremely spoiled. I'm extremely spoiled. I like nice shit. I like the best of things. And I've never not been in a situation to where I didn't have nice things. I've never lived poor, raggedy. I ain't never lived in a house where we had a garbage bag in the middle of the kitchen floor and out a trash can. I ain't never lived like that before. Oh, I, ain't, I rode the city bus for the first time as an adult. Because I had never rode one before. And I wanted to experience riding the city bus for the first time just because I had never done it before. And I was like, if I ever need to ride the city bus, I at least want to know how to be able to do it. And I, I got on the bus uh, over there at McDonald's on Plank Road. They got a bus stop over there. I got on the bus right there. And my mother-in-law taught me, my, my ex-mother-in-law rather, because uh, I'm divorced now. But... She taught me how to ride the city bus because she was a person that rode the city bus. So she was like, this is how you get on. And, and she took me to the Walmart of Zachary. 
And we rode the city bus up Plank Road to the Walmart in Zachary. They let us off at the Walmart in Zachary. We went inside, had to do what we had to do really, really, really quick to get back out there to the bus stop before the bus passed up again. And then the bus brought, brought me back to my original spot, which was the McDonald's on Plank Road. And I did that because I had never rode a city bus before. So I'm trying to explain something to you. When you're dealing with women, you got to know who you're dealing with and what type of woman you're dealing with. And I ain't saying that I haven't experienced struggles in my life, but one struggle that I have not experienced in life has been poverty. I didn't grow up poverty stricken. I didn't. I grew up in a middle class family. So yeah, it's certain things that you're not going to be able to just do with me. It's certain things that I'm just not going to understand. And it's not about me being materialistic, but my thing is, I date a certain caliber of man too. And most times when I'm selecting a man, I ain't selecting a man that's dropping the, that, that's cleaning the grease at KFC. And it's nothing wrong with that if that's what you do, but that's not the type of man that I'm, I'm trying to do life with. Why? Because I want to do life a certain type of way. We got passports and shit. We want to be able to move around. We want to be able to travel and the things that I want to do, it requires money. So, to answer the question, would I accept the ring from Walmart? If Walmart was this man's lifestyle and he shopped at Walmart for his shoes and his cologne, I ain't got no problem with accepting a ring from Walmart from him. But if this man is buying his shoes from somewhere else and buying his cologne from somewhere else, because, you know, Walmart got these things. They got shoes and cologne, right? But it's very limited what they have. Very, very limited what they have. The selection is very limited. But if they go on other places to buy their shoes and they go on other places to buy their cologne, then I feel like if you present a ring to me from Walmart, you insult my, my intelligence. I honestly feel like that's what you're doing. And they had some women that was like, oh, well, I've been married and I got carrots and all of this kind of stuff and I wasn't treated well and all of this kind of... Yeah, because see, a, a, a lot of people, they tried to marry for love. And my thing is I'm married for acceptance. I'm marrying somebody that I can real life do life with. I'm marrying for because you you give me a certain uh, level of peace. That means when I come to you, you my sanctuary. That's the that's the reason why I would get married again, not because I love you. I I would get married because when we get together, we we gonna make hell nervous with the things that we are gonna be able to do together. The resources that we'll be able to combine together to make certain things happen in our life. Not for no love. I've seen a lot of people in love laid up together on Bourbon Street, cut it up homeless. I've seen it. I've seen a lot of people in love that literally live in extreme poverty. But they love each other. That's not how I desire to live my life. And I don't feel no type of way about it. And I don't care about how nobody feel about it. And I don't care if it's, I'm considered to be shallow. I don't care. Because I desire to live a certain type of way. And I'm not taking no shorts when it comes down to certain things. Why? Because what I know is when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And he obtains the favor of the Lord. When you put Sharonda on your team, just know that favor about to show up for you. Favor showing up for you. And you're going to be the best version of yourself while we together. I don't know what you're going to do when we ain't together. But while we together, you will be the best version of yourself. Why? Because when I get through with you, you're going to feel like you're 10 feet tall. And you think you're going to bring me Walmart. Maybe somebody else that don't really know what marriage is and what all it entails and the seriousness of it. And, and everything that comes behind when you're selecting a partner. Maybe those people that don't understand that, maybe they will be okay with that. But because I understand what marriage is, I understand what the sacrifice is, I understand the love of commitment that it is, then I'm going to need you to put some thought into me. I'm going to need you to do that. I'm going to need you to say that it, when, my, when my woman walking around wearing this ring, not only is she a representation of herself, but at this point she's a representation of me. And I want to be able to give her the best. See, when I was married the first time, and when I had my wedding ring on and me inside my wedding ring, you know what they would do? They would back the fuck up. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they knew one thing. And over here, you had to come a certain type of way. You had to come correct. Now, don't get me wrong. When I got married uh, very young, 
My first rent came from the flea market, but at the same time, my ex-husband shopped at the flea market. So I ain't had no problem with taking a ring from the flea market. He went to the jury account at the flea market. He allowed me to pick out the ring that I wanted. He paid for it. We got married. But he was the same person that went to the flea market and he shopped for his clothes and his shoes and anything else that he wanted out the flea market. So I didn't have a problem with accepting a ring from the flea market because that's what he shopped at. That was, that was his lifestyle. But you can't come over here and think you're going to offer me Walmart and you're around here walking in Giuseppe's and Gucci and you around here um, with bond number nine cologne on. No, when you go get my ring, you need to go get it somewhere where it got a warranty that come with it, where I can go take it and go get it cleaned, where if the stones start to moving in it, they'll go in there and tighten it up. Where I can do, keep maintenance on my ring, where I got paperwork on it. Because I don't like no anything. When I go out there and purchase things for myself, I go and make sure I buy the best for myself. So if somebody else is going to be buying something for me, I would hope that they have the mindset to at least buy the best for me the same way I would buy for myself. Because when I'm buying for you, I'm giving you the best. So no, we, I'm, I'm not one of them people that's just going to be grateful because you're putting a ring on my finger. Because I understand the importance of marriage and I understand what marriage is all about. And the thing is, for me, like, I, I would much rather you spend the money on my ring because I don't really desire a wedding. I don't have to have a wedding. I would much rather my money be spent on the ring and on a nice honeymoon out the country somewhere. Like, let's go to Africa or somewhere. Like, let's go do some stuff like that. Let's go all the way over there across the water. We could do the islands and the Caribbeans and stuff. We can do that anytime. Let's go, let's go somewhere where we probably won't. That, that will literally blow our minds. Like, let's go somewhere like that. So, y'all ask for my answer? That is my answer. If he's the Walmart type of man, then I could understand a ring from Walmart. But I'm going to be honest with you. More than likely, I wouldn't be dating a Walmart type of man. I'm just going to be honest with you. He wouldn't. I, we wouldn't do well together dating because I live a certain type of lifestyle and I have a certain quality of life. And I move around a lot. And being outside costs money. It does. I like to shop. I like to look good. I like to smell good. I like to drive good. I like to live good. I like to eat good. So with that being said, I would need somebody that can match where I'm at when it comes down to my quality of life. So more than likely, I wouldn't be dating a person that has a, a Walmart type of quality of life. That just wouldn't be the person that... And they may be a sweet person, but they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be on my radar. And it's okay for you to, to want what you want. Yeah. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all day and enjoy y'all Father's Day. I hope this video <laughs> explained where I was coming from. Um, of course, we still have the book on sale. Uh, we got less than 50 copies left. Um, and we are still taking payments for the watch party. For the uh, P Valley Doctor Sears on July 12th. All right, that's wraps that wraps me up. Y'all enjoy y'all holiday. Y'all be blessed.